Are you in a place in your life where you see your mates married and you are the only one left out and you are thinking about how you will marry quickly so you won't be left out? This is God's word to you today. You do not have to get perplexed and worried about how your future will turn out and compare your life with your friends who have married. God himself will give you your own story and write your own story. You just have to trust him. When we talk about this, we need to emphasize again what are the orchestrations of God. Knowing who your God is will give you a lot of advantages in the world. When you do not know what God has given you and what he has made you, you will live like others. You are not like others. You have the God of heaven's backing, so you have to struggle to get a life partner or to marry. You do not have to. God himself will take you from singlehood to marriage quickly. There is nothing that moves God except our faith. This is why the word of God tells us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. The only way God can be satisfied and pleased is by our faith. The kind of manifestation you will see in your walk with the Lord will be dependent on your faith in Him. This is why you should never allow anything with you corrupt. Faith in God There is nothing impossible with God. We live in a generation where people are trying to redefine this and say that there are some things that God cannot do. Some say that God is not in the business of healing the sick and prospering his people. That if you want to prosper, you should go find something to do with your hands. We should indeed be diligent and hardworking, and we should not be found lazing about, because wisdom demands that but to trust in the works of your hands is a big problem and issue. God wants you to trust in God for the prosperity of your life, your health, your finances, and your marital life. He told us that He wishes above all things that we prosper and be in health as our souls prosper. This is His will for you. He wants you to live in the balance of two, which is the combination of the favor of God and labor. There is always a way that both of them takes the favor of God to marry quickly. Your intelligence and your smartness cannot solve this kind of issue. There have been people who have had their PhD in their respective career courses, and yet they married a devil. They are still in the bondage of looking for the right partner after many years. It takes the favor of God to put you in the right place and at the right time. There is a scripture that says that race is not a battle to the strong or favor to the men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. So many times the results of life are not usually what we think. What defines and determines success, even marital success, is what is called time and chance. Some call it luck, but it is not luck. It is the orchestration of that spirit that brings people to their desires and their destiny. There is a story of Abraham's servant, Eliza who was sent by his master to look for a wife for his son. He did not know what Isaac liked, and what even made it tougher was that Abram told him not to bring any woman that was not from his hometown. So he went to his hometown, and because he was confused, he prayed to God concerning it. His prayers were not up to 60 seconds. It was a short prayer from his heart, and God did answer the prayer. His steps were fully a manifestation of good speed, being at the right place and at the right time. He happened to meet Rebecca, who was a perfect example of all that God wants in a woman for a man. And when Isaac met with her for the first time, he already knew that this was the right one for him. God is not against marrying early and quickly. He prefers that you marry quickly and when both of you are young, because only when you are young you can learn more about each other, 
and both of you can grow up together. When two spouses grow up together from having nothing to being wealthy, both of them bet each other to combine in that prosperity. God loves seeing young people marrying quickly because they will get to know each other much better, and by the time they are much older, they have enjoyed a lot from their marriage. Those who marry quickly would have had maximum satisfaction from each other and would have learned all the lessons that they want to learn when they are young. This can only happen by the favor of God and the miraculous hand of God that orchestrates things for people, putting them in the right place and at the right time. You have to intentionally put your faith in God concerning this. He can ensure that you marry quickly. He can make the right person that is for you just come to you quickly, and when they come, you have that witness in your spirit that it is the right one for me. If it is anything that is limiting you from entering the rest of your marital life that has been set against you, God himself will break it and make sure that you find joy and peace. There is a kind of joy and happiness that people have. Get when they marry quickly, especially when they get married to the person that have always planned to get married to. God wants you to have that maximum satisfaction and joy. This is why He works a wonder in your life that you never expected. That prophecy of old said that God will do it right early, which means God can do things suddenly and quickly if only we can trust Him and rely on Him for our future. When you understand this, there will be no more cause to fear and worry, but your focus will be on your Father and God only and no more will be discouraged about what the enemy is doing in your life and that you are the only one left behind. You are at the right place and at the right time in life. This is why you should never put your hope in any man, because God himself will do his perfect work in your life. God's word can always be banked on and trusted. When God speaks to you, He does not speak for fun. He always speaks for action and power. There is indeed nothing that God cannot do. That speaks about how that nothing is impossible for God to do concerning miracles, but there are some things in God's character that is impossible for Him to do. One of them is that God cannot break His promise if he does, then he's a liar, which means that he will cease to be called God, but the word of God tells us that God can't lie, that by two immutable things. God has sworn by himself that all he has spoken concerning you will bring it to pass. This is why we can't take the word of God literally and expect to see the kind of results that we want from what the Word of God says concerning us. When you know this, even though your mind might be telling you that you can't marry quickly, you still know that the God that did before will still do it again. You will meet that right person, you will walk through the aisle of the wedding roses, and you will have a wonderful family because God has said so concerning you.